All right. I know you've already seen this footage, and sorry about that, but it's the only intro footage I had. I hope you're ready to hear me review some of the games I played at PAX East at warp speed, because that's what this video is all about. I mostly did not wait in very many long lines, so most of these are indie games. First off, we have Biomutant, which is the biggest name game I've waited for, at least in terms of the presentation. Uh, you can see here the terrible character creation that I ended up doing. This is an action role-playing game. Here you can look a little bit of me running around looking for something to fight. Please realize it's hard to hold a controller and record yourself at the same time. But you know, I did what I can. Clearly we've got a very polished, modern looking graphics in this game. So that's Biomutant. Next up is Maximum Apocalypse. Maximum Apocalypse was the only board game I played at PAX East, and it was a co-op rogue adventure game. Co-op board games are always fun because you get to work together instead of playing against your friends. A little less life ruining. Uh, now we've got Deliver Us the Moon. This is an indie game. It's a solo space adventure. You're not really seeing a lot of the space related aspects in this random clip I sort of did. But, you know, uh, I don't think it's complete yet, but it is on Steam. That's quite a zoom. Alrighty. Next up, we have got Get in the Car, Loser. With that Mean Girls reference, you can guess a little bit of what this game might be. It's a traditional RPG style game that's got some fun, funny dialogue. Definitely PG-13 rated, and also features some great LGBT representation. So if that's your sort of thing and you want to play a road trip game, this game is for you. It does feature traditional turn-based fighting style. I should throw that out there. This is Later Daters. This is one of the favorite games I played at PAX East, even though my video representation of it is not great. This is a dating sim set in a retirement home and also has some LGBT representation once again. I obviously love visual novels, so this was really fun to me. The graphics were super classy. You had a cat. Never gonna complain about that. So, you know, definitely check this out. Here's a platformer that I rage quit because I got really confused and I don't remember the name of it, but they were cool, uh, so no hate to them. This is Warsaw, which is a tactical, turn-paced RPG in a historical setting, specifically World War II. It has hand-painted graphics. Definitely not my sort of thing, because I'm not really interested in war games, but I could appreciate this for what it was. I could tell that in the combat, you know, you had a lot of different choices of things you can do because you've got the different classes and abilities as well as the ability to move where your people stand within a fight. This is Bravery Network Online, which is just a turn-based fun game with some kind of cool graphics here. This uh, game I really enjoyed. I thought it was pretty funny. It's Sky Drift racing, I think. It's basically Mario Kart with waifus. That's all you really need to know about this game to, you know, probably know if you're going to enjoy it or not. That is my head, by the way. This is Gato Roboto, and as a cat lover, of course I was going to appreciate this. This is a retro style game where you are a cat following instructions from an astronaut to do spacey sort of spacesuit things. Uh, you know, very old, traditional... Alrighty, so in retrospect, this was probably an, an ambitious project. There were so many games at PAX East, lines were really long, and my video footage was obviously subpar, but you know what? It was fun, and that's what matters. So there's a hyperspeed look at the games that I demoed at PAX East, and because of the clickbait title, I know I'm planning to give this video. The best game that I played at PAX East was Ginso Skydrift. Why, you may ask, because, well, I'm a weeb, that's a weeb answer, and it seems like the best option for a meme. Thanks for watching, peace out.